What is going on guys? I you can see my lovely thing here, but what two hours ago? How did I not know about this? It's insane. I got my grappler video up on the side. You know what I you know what it is. Always like to watch me some grappler. Um, I got um, the video here. This is the, the Ionian Vladimir deck. 82%. It's coming, boys. It's coming. So let's check out the new expansion, the Darken Saga, Domination. Varus is on the front. We know he was coming, right? But let's see what else we can get out of it. Never seen it. Let's get it. Blighted Rage, Tainted Soils. I definitely was about to say souls, but I'm good. Faceless Woes, Reap Bloody Spoils. Bars. Arrows Tip Atones with Pain. Why the fuck did they buff Swain? What? <laughs> okay, we see that. I am more than this. We are more. Okay. I could learn from studying such a weapon. Fascinating the overlap between magic and science. Okay, so his little minions. Aim for the heart. They? That weapon calls to me, offering a great hunt. He's tainting other people's weapons. Will never accept peace. When and where we find power, we will take it. Oh no, Freljord. True power eclipses both day and night. I will I end this cyclical war. So Freljord? Is he Freljord? There's no way. Pantheon skin. So much blood. The so blood letters. Life. The arrow of retribution will find its mark. This is the power of the dark. So really only showed October 12th. Let's break it down. All right, so very interesting that they showed so much Freljord, right? Uh, I don't know much about Varus, but in the in the game, in League of Legends, he seems to have a lot of control over his thing. Um, and if I were to go over his actual kit, like I actually like to use Varus, is actually, I made a whole, um, I know you guys won't know this, but I made a whole thing about Varus. Uh, when I used to shoot him, I would say, got him, coach. And then when I used to do Twitch streams, it would uh, it would actually be like, yo, the Gotham coach was a thing, and I, I I really ran with it. So me and him have some special love together. But I didn't know that he had a Darken weapon. I don't even think Darken was a thing when Varus first dropped. Uh, to be honest with you, it could have been. But um, he looks like he's giving other people weapons. Uh, this looks like PNZ, obviously, uh, which makes me scared uh, since they show this is PNZ. Um, this is obviously Bilgewater, which they're showing, uh, casing here. This is definitely Bilgewater. Looks like he's going around to different places and buffing people's bows. <laughs> this man is Hawkeye or something like that. Well, not Hawkeye. No, it would be Hawkeye, right? No, Taskmaster almost. But yeah, uh, so this is Freljord. So either he is going to be a, a husk kind of thing, like he has a bunch of different things, or each region is getting a, uh, getting their own little interaction with him. But it does seem like some weird thing where there's going to be a bunch of different units uh we're definitely seeing Freya. that was uh was it like i said Freya bizwater this looks targon this looks targonian you know got the thing so that's targon getting some bow action and then uh they showed this this looks like pantheon to me uh like a pantheon skin and then they i think zoomed it out no and i think the quote he said here was pantheonish hold on let me play it You are soft, Varus, weak to human. Uh, and I think that that's a thing. Is this is something similar to what you would look at as a person that's like Blue Cane. Uh, I'm thinking about lore, right? Lore-wise, I think he has control over the Darken Weapon. He controls it. So I, I don't think he's a bad guy in any stretch of the imagination. He, he's literally Cain if he actually took control and, and mastered the thing. You see him going around buffing stuff. And that's why you see him going against Zulani, uh, I think, at the end of this. And I think uh, this, this definitely seems like a Pantheon skin. Uh, it is not another champion in the in League of Legends currently that doesn't look like this, but that also could be a thing. You know, maybe this is another darkened weapon that we're unaware of, but I don't know Pantheon to have another darkened weapon. The only other character that has a darkened weapon, supposedly, uh, at least in one of his skins, is Trendemir. Trendemir has a darkened weapon uh, in his Demon Blade skin. Uh, I don't know if they'll ever redo that or make him a different character or something like that. And then you see him here versus Zulani. Let me zoom, the zoom out. Zulani, as you can see, the do uh, the dark and blood letters here, uh, going against, and those are her like little homies, Varus and his homies. 
Um, and I guess that's going to be a thing. So as far as what he does in the game, prediction-wise, he pretty much charges up an arrow that does damage. Well, he has two, no, technically two to three abilities that are, if he keeps it auto-attacking you, you get stacks. And if those stacks if get hit with something else, it pops. Very similar to how Kennen kind of works. Like, so you have, like, stacks, even though Kennen is three. For some reason, they made it two in this game, but uh, I don't know why. But uh, what it would be to me is that I think he would they will pretty much not add that stacking thing. I think it's too complicated too weird i think they'll just have it that he has a spell very similar to like darkness that he'll have a spell that he generates and then that spell deals damage based on something that has gone similar to stacks but maybe something else that can generate that so he has a weapon so i'm assuming he might have some type of equipment uh maybe he gets the darkened bow which i'm assuming that's what they're gonna call it the darkened bow uh the darkened scythe the darkened everything so I, I think he gets the darkened bow and it also has an ulti which i'm assuming is going to be his champion spell i don't think that i think the arrow will be a spell that he generates or something of that nature and i think his ultimate like his uh corruption wave thing will actually be his champion spell that's my prediction his ultimate is a stun is a chain stun and if you stay too close to a unit uh they actually it's the stun starts to spread my prediction would be something similar that we have not seen in this game yet is or at least that i can't think of it right so you actually target a unit and then the units next to it actually get that same effect so it would be similar kind of similar to like ash's arrow uh in a sense right ash's arrow hits one thing and then anything else affected in a certain uh situation certain condition also gets frostbitten as well i think this one will be you target a unit and then the two things to the left and the right of it become stunned as well could offer some synergies to yasuo could offer synergies to aggro packages that just want a bunch of stuns um his region they haven't shown anything i'm assuming he is going to be a runeterra champion and which i've also spoke about how runeterra champions work runeterra champions are either engines uh if you guys don't know what an engine is I'll, I'll, I'll let me know I'll, I'll explain it in a video if you really need me to it's they're either engines or they're actually uh, archetype it's either one of the two uh, a lot of them so far have been engines <laughs> they are not archetypes uh, the only archetype one I think that they've dropped really is like Kane and Jin. I feel like they're the only two ones everyone else has been like a, a little engine Evelyn's an engine Bart is an engine uh who, who else is in there I, I'm, I'm drawing a blank at the moment I know there's like one more in this probably Jax Jax is an archetype he's an archetype but he's not that good he's probably the worst one <laughs> And that's just how I differentiate them. I, obviously, you can disagree with me all you want, but I think that that's how I look at them. Certain cards that are more fitted to actually be banned, like have another thing supporting it, and then other of the Runeterra champions have support, right? They, they just pretty much support another archetype that already exists. And that's so you can mix and match them all you want. But I do think that I'm excited for him. I'm hoping that he uh, comes in and shakes up the meta. They just buffed a couple of champions. So you're wondering where, like, like where is this going to sit in there? And I'm thinking it's going to be pretty good. Um, but yeah, they only showed Varus, and usually they would have displayed another champion uh, or something, but they only showed Varus and him having some type of connection with at least th what was that, three or four other regions. So I'm looking forward to it. Leave your predictions in the comment section below. Hope you guys look up to the Shen Vladimir deck that's coming out pretty soon, as soon as it's done rendering. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.